For our devotional thought today, I want to talk about lifestyle and grace. It amazes me today how there is such a lack of understanding of the truth of real grace. Not, 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 you know, I want to live any way I want to live grace, but real grace. You know, oftentimes when people are talking to me about grace, I tell them, well, have you never read? I said, do you, do you believe that the Apostle Paul would teach us about grace? Well, yeah. So have you never read where he writes, grace teaches us to say no to ungodliness? So grace does not replace a holy lifestyle. On the other hand, you get a hold of people that believe that the consequences of their sin is something they must go through to, to make it right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the price for my sin. I'm gonna do what's right and take my punishment and pay the price. But beloved, the consequences of your sin is not how you atone for sin. Jesus atoned for your sin on the cross. Now, now listen to Solomon, and then we'll get into his father a little later also. Proverbs 10, verse 29. The way of the wicked is a stronghold to those with integrity, but it destroys the wicked. Proverbs 25, verses 16 through 21. Turn to me and have mercy on me. I am alone and in deep distress. My problems go from bad to worse. Have you ever felt like that? My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Feel my pain and see my trouble. Forgive all my sins. See how my enemies I, I have and how viciously they hate me. Protect me. Rescue my life from them. Do not let me be disgraced, for in you I take refuge. May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you. Now notice something very clear here. The ways of God are a stronghold. They're a place of protection. When you walk in integrity, the ways of the Lord are a stronghold to those who with integrity, Proverbs 10, 29. The ways of God are a refuge, a place of security, a place of protection, but, but not a place of protection for those who want to go and do crooked, corrupt things and then run to God for protection. It doesn't work like that. The ways of God are protection for those who walk in integrity. Your lifestyle of integrity is what brings God protection to your life. And notice it says, the ways of God destroy the wicked. Again, Proverbs 10, 29. The ways of God are a stronghold if you walk in integrity and their destruction for people who do not walk in integrity, who walk in the wickedness. Now, go to Proverbs 10, verse 9. People with integrity walk safely. Wow. Not people who walk in grace. People who walk in integrity walk safely. But those who follow crooked paths will be exposed. Sooner or later, truth always comes out, beloved. No matter how people want to point the fingers at others, truth always comes out. Psalms 25, verse 21, David writes, May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you. May integrity and honesty protect me. Why? For I have put my hope in you. Beloved, none of us are perfect, but we can live a life of integrity. That means transparency. There's no deceit. There's no, there's sincerity within us. Okay, we're just, who, what you see is what you get. When, when there's integrity and honesty, it protects us. You say, well, pastor, I live by grace. I'm a grace person. Grace doesn't protect you. Honesty and integrity, your lifestyle, brings you into a place of God's protection. 